All right, time to take a look at the Jomgand 8-in-1 Jump Starter with Compressor. All kinds of stuff. So we got USB-A to USB-C and a USB-C to USB-C cable. We got our car charger so we can actually charge this thing up while we're on the go. We got our jumper cable so it actually has a decent length on here too. So if you need to be able to stretch this thing out to get to both the positive and the negative, you can do that. You can see that on the connector, these are different shapes. So you don't have to worry about plugging this into the wrong terminal. And the clamps have some pretty good looking teeth as well as a fairly strong spring. So you don't have to worry about this thing falling off. They're also properly labeled red and black and positive and negative. Then we have our airline. So it looks like this is just going to spin on and we have a locking tire air nozzle. And then here we have some extra nozzles. So we got a couple of nozzles for filling up inflatables. We have an adapter and we have a nozzle for filling up basketballs and soccer balls and that kind of thing. That's cool. So nice, simple instructions. Wow. That is a nice thick brick. And it says this is good for 3,750 amps. That is huge. Also good for 150 PSI, which is way more than I'm going to need. And a 60 watt two way fast charge. So for the buttons on the front, we got our light. So I'll press and hold that. And then we got a nice big light. So that's awesome. And it looks like that also turned on the display. So we have two bars. Can't tell what the max is. I think it's going to be three max. So it does come with at least a partial charge. So that's good. And it's reading zero PSI, of course, because it's not actually connected to anything. Then we can set it to pump. Cool. So it just automatically starts. And then we can select bar or PSI. Right now it's on PSI. And we can set that to bar. So it looks like we can automatically set that to stop. So I'm going to bring that down to... Uh, I usually go with about 50 PSI just because they're like nice heavy solid tires. So on the back we got a handle so we can put a strap on that or we can just hang it on a nail or something like that. We got our port for the airline and on the side. I do like these rubber caps that they got on here. So we got a USB-A port, a USB-C port and then the port for that charger. And then on the left we got a port for the jumper cables. On the back it looks like we just got some vents for the airflow and then we got our instructions on the bottom. So I really love these things for jumping a car just because if, well, especially if I have to jump somebody else's car and I don't know what the condition of it is, I don't want to have to damage, you know, even think about damaging my car. So all we really have to do, plug these things in, connect the positive, connect the negative, hit the power button, and then start the car. And it's really that simple. These things make your life so much easier. You don't have to walk around with jumper cables being like, hey, can you help me? Can you give me a jump? You already got everything you need right here. So if I wanted to charge my phone, let's plug that guy in. And it is super fast charging. That is awesome. So even just by itself, <laughs> a super fast charger with a ton of power that can also jumpstart your car. That's amazing. And then for the compressor, what we're going to do is put this line on. Go to spin. There we go. Okay, so it's currently reading 19 PSI. We'll just check that again. We are at 50. Cool. So yeah, nice and quick. And uh, one of the things I could definitely say about this that I really like right now, it is not very loud. So that is awesome. So yeah, overall, that is a very nice tool.